Okay, round two. That doesn't make sense. I can't say that, it's too aggressive. That sounds ridiculous. Hi, I'm Sophie and I'm a primary school teacher and I'm currently teaching in the UK. I did a video uh, last week-ish about the things that I have bought for going back to school in September. I thought I would show you the things that I regret buying, the things that I shouldn't have bought and were a little bit of a waste of money or just didn't work out for me. Obviously, so you might have bought these things and they were amazing and they helped you so much, but that is, we're different people. That's fine. Like, you do you. You buy those things. They work really well. But for me, they were a waste. I have a list of things that I picked up and regretted. And I have some of the things. Not the exact things, but just examples. The first thing. I don't have. <laughs> because it's long gone. It was. I saw this on Teacher Instagram. I think it's a really big thing in America. And I saw it before I started my NQT year. And I was like, amazing, that's really going to help my classroom environment. It's going to help my, um, <laughs> so stupid. And I don't know if anyone else had it, but I spent so long trying to find this and then spent so long setting it up. And I can count the amount of times I used it on one hand. And it was the lights like the the sound lights i'm gonna put a picture like in a split screen so hopefully you can see it where it was like the noise levels and they had like different names for the amount of noise that they could make and it was like um whisper group talk and like that's great but like i never used those lights i would just tell my children what level they were working at and they would do it i never i didn't need lights for that and if i did like the two times i've used it i can vividly remember it was such a faff them being like I need to change the light to see we're at this level and I was like in the middle of teaching and it was just it was boring it was pointless it really didn't work for me maybe it worked for you but I know they just stayed on my board and collected dust for um the first two terms and then I took them down because it was pointless and I needed more board room number two is a little bit of a weird one I felt like when I got my teaching job I wanted to be like a grown-up and I wanted to dress like a grown-up so I bought like teacher clothes like these I still have them because I'm adamant that one day I will be grown enough enough to wear them like trousers I am not a trouser person unless it's like a jean or unless it's like a culotte but I can vividly remember buying these trousers they were blinking expensive as well and being like now I am a grown-up I shall wear proper teacher trousers and I hate wearing them I don't feel comfortable in them I don't feel confident in them and they don't change my teaching they don't make my teaching any better just because I'm dressed like a grown-up so that's lesson number two wear what you are comfortable with number three is fancy stationery or like just stationery that school are buying you do not need to be buying your own stationery you don't need to I mean if you specifically would like to mark in a 45 pound pen fair enough buy that pen live your best life but you do not need to be buying this stuff by yourself because you will just end up with hordes of it like school provides you with that you do not need to be buying glue sticks by yourself if you're buying glue sticks out of your own pocket something's wrong something's seriously wrong if you are doing that you don't need to if, if you can't find a pen to use maybe that's your fault i'm talking to myself here for not being as organized as you should be you don't need to buy your own stationery unless it's super fancy like i'm a stationery addict i'll admit that but I also don't need to buy a new pack of biros for going into my NQT year. I don't need to do that. Number four, I also bought into the hype of the Tolsby frames. They are the frames that are from Ikea. I think they're like a pound. I don't know if it's a pound for one or like a pound for three. And I had them the first time in my classroom. I spent so long printing things out to specifically fit in my Tolsby frames, put them on the desk and they were just a decoration. They weren't used. Like I know some people, like especially I've seen it in early years, they're used amazingly. But for me, they're just, they were pointless. They were just there as like an ornament that they weren't used, especially as I changed my layout from tables. They just, they weren't used, it was pointless. I had them in my, I gave them to someone who wanted them in the end. I was like, yes. Someone on Instagram was like, anyone have any toilet frames for sale? And I was like, me, take them, please. 
The next thing I mentioned on my top buys for NQT is what I bought and um, I still agree but I think there is you need to be specific with this and that is books this is not one I regret buying this is one that I'm using uh, next year in year two but it's just one that I've got at home I um, love books and there were lots of toast shops near me that did like 10 books for a pound and um, I bought them before I went into my classroom so I'm not even exaggerating here when I went into my classroom I had three copies of Flat Stanley. Nobody needs three copies of Flat Stanley. I think um, if there is a book that you are going to hold on to, it is going to be your book, then fair enough, buy that. I am going to keep this, I bought this myself, I'm gonna keep this for years, I'll share it with my own children when I have them. Whereas I think you need to be aware if you are buying books that they are there for your classroom, they are going to get wrecked. Um, just with wear and tear, like if you are going to use them with teaching, then that's fair enough. But just check what you have before you go into your classroom so you do not have three copies of Flat Stanley. Also, your school, if they are asking you to teach from like, we've got a reading spine, they will provide those books. It is not your responsibility to provide those books. The next one, I'm gonna have to put a picture up and it is these blinking drawers. These drawers I longed for for about a year, a year and a half. I only got them quite recently. Um, they were rainbow coloured, they were beautiful. Like I loved it and I was, they were like quite expensive. So I was like, right, I'm, I'll just, you know, I'll, I'll wait and see if I need them. And you know, and I convinced myself that I did need them and I didn't. They're just chunky drawers that get in my way all of the time. I don't need an extra set of drawers. Like I don't need that there. They are literally just there and I shove worksheets in them with no, <laughs> just to get them out of the way. I do set up my week in terms of like printing off my resources for the week and I did have them in the drawers, but then um, I opted back for file holders, like newspaper holders. Again, I didn't need the drawers. You don't need to buy like furniture for your classroom. The trolleys on the other hand, I do love. That's a whole other story. But these drawers have caused me nothing but pain. They are so flimsy, they like wobble. It's just, I didn't need it. I shouldn't have got it, I'm admitting it. The next one, <laughs> not this actual thing. I can remember after my NQT year, I bought really expensive memory sticks. It was like three memory sticks from Amazon and they were really high gig and I was like, I'm gonna label them and they're gonna be, you know, I'm gonna be so organized and I can have my resources and then like my NQT and like all my things on these memory sticks. And they were quite expensive, I'm not gonna lie. And then I got to school and was told, you may not use those memory sticks because we only use specific encrypted ones that the school gives you. And by that point, my stuff was on those memory sticks from like my NQT year and my training year. And um, I couldn't use them. Couldn't use these memory sticks I'd spent money on. So um, just check with your school what you'll use. Some people use the, my sister's a teacher and she purely uses the cloud to store things on. Some schools do that, some schools use Google Drive. Like, I think it's all dependent on the school. So check with your school before you buy expensive stuff like memory set. The next one, I don't have, but I think I would have pictures of it. And that is buying backing for displays that are only for like a topic. Like I've done this for a rainforest display off the top of my head and I've done this for a space display and I can't reuse the backing because it has staples in it and then it gets ripped when you take it down. And it's just pointless. Like I would go to the range, I do love the range, and like buy these backings that like I'm gonna use once. And it was ridiculous. It was so silly for one topic. I did ask, what are some of the things that you have bought, uh, you bought in your NQT year that you haven't used since? And I was crying at the responses. Like it makes me feel glad that I'm not as alone. Someone said, pretty much everything I bought before I was actually in my classroom. I agree with that. It's like the book situation, the memory card situation. Check what's in your classroom before you have it. I didn't buy anything, but did Bitmoji a lot. It was pointless and a waste of time. I remember the Bitmoji phase. Someone said, the noise monitors, such a waste of time and money. I agree. Spending nearly 30 pounds on a teacher planner because I didn't, I didn't use, because we plan on computers. Oh no. I do love my planner, but that's a, like a case of, check before, uh, check with your school what you use before you do. Fairy lights, I didn't turn them on once. Teacher toolbox, spent so much money and time and it just doesn't work for me. I did this too, I bought the toolbox and then never did anything with it because I have a cupboard, I don't need a toolbox. I have a small desk. Uh, most things to be honest, there actually mu isn't much I needed. 
I agree. There wasn't actually much that you need when you think about it. Controversial, but my positive teacher planner, because I never used it. If you don't plan in a planner, there's, what's the point in getting one? Uh, decent glue sticks, whiteboard pens, and crayons, as they got stolen. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so from Bubble of Primary said, a 2020 diary. I bought one of those chairs from Ikea to decorate for star of the day. <laughs> Fail. I've seen this before. It's so extra. Like some teachers, it works so well and it's so extra, but like I'm laughing because I know for me, if I had a chair that I needed to decorate, like it just wouldn't happen. Palsby frames, cheap, but just decorative. Kids try to find a guillotine in their hats. Spending loads of money on a specific topic that I never did again. Yeah, it's just like the back in if you aren't going to use it again. It's not an investment. Those guided reading blow up balls. <laughs> Love it. Obviously, every classroom is different. Every teacher is different. There are some things that you and your cohort might love that I hate. There are some things that I might love that you hate. Like, everyone's different. These are just the things that didn't work for me in my classroom. I think the moral of the story here is to not buy anything before you go into your classroom. I'll speak to you later. I hope this was helpful. Goodbye.